I'm an early morning person. Most of the time I'm up between 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. And here are three things that you can do to increase the probability that you won't hit snooze on the alarm in the morning. Number one, basic, but go to bed early. This is the question I get most. People say, how aren't you tired when you're up at 4 or 5 in the morning? Well, I'm not in bed at 11 or 12 at night. I go to bed earlier. As soon as I see 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening, I'm thinking about bed. For many people, that might be the time that you're thinking of turning on the television or pulling out your phone to scroll for the next couple of hours or going down the rabbit hole on YouTube. But if you want to get up early, you need to be thinking about bed between 8 and 10 p.m. ideally. Number two, you need to be consistent. It's a simple one again, but it's one that people actually mess up most because what people try and do is get up really, really early, Monday to Friday. And then what they do is they sleep in loads Saturday to Sunday. And this throws you off again where your circadian rhythm, your sleep-wake cycle is all thrown off. And this puts you in a position where on Monday morning, it's very difficult to get up early again. That is what can break the cycle. Whereas if you're consistently going to bed and getting up at the same time, it actually becomes much easier to continue that pattern. Number three, just get up. <laughs> Pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people say, oh, I'll hit snooze five more minutes. And that never happens. You never get up after those five minutes. As soon as the alarm clock goes off, get up. That second, that is the optimal way to start your day. 